if your MacBook Air has pixelated lines like this or cracked screen, what should you do? My recommendation is get a screen replacement. You can either get it from Amazon or eBay. This full assembly screen allows you to get the screen repair in about half an hour, I would say. So as you can see that my screen has pixelated lines, half of the screen here, the entirely just across it. So what I'm gonna do is get the screen re repaired, replaced. So let's go ahead and power off the, uh, the computer by pressing the power button and holding it until the computer shuts off. Let's identify the model here. Take a look at it in the back of your computer. You should be able to see it says model A2337. This is a MacBook Air. Now, this is the new vendor that I try with. Um, <clears throat> they're pretty good with it that they send the screen with the tools on it. So you make things a lot easier. You don't have to buy a separate Torx screw for this repair. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit more and let's get started. The first thing I like to do is to get a Pentalope P5. <clears throat> let's see what is a Pentalope P5 looks like in the thing that is provided. It should be look something like this, a purple one. A purple that says 1.2 has a little star shape on it. And that is to remove the screws here and get the back cover removed. And again, my recommendation is to uh, position your screws. When you remove them, do not mix them together because all the screws are not the same. And it makes your repair a lot easier if you position it in a way that you can easily identify and put it back together after. So just kind of a quick note here, the screws on the top are much longer compared to the screws at the bottom and the screws on the side. Once you're done with that, the next step is to get a metal prying tool to stick it in between the little tiny gap here. Okay, just to kind of get the back cover lift up enough room for me to pry it open. So the thing is just to pop open. Uh, there's two little clipper here in the middle. That clipper is logged onto the uh, trackpad. So you're just gonna pop it open and uh, remove that entirely. Next step is to disconnect the battery. The battery here has a little clipper that is clipping onto it. You're gonna flip that little clipper up and then slide that connector out. That is your battery. Once you're done with that process, I am going to move on to T3. T3, which is the green torque three. Remove the tiny little screw, remove the bracket. Here, I like to position and uh, maybe recommend you to take a picture of it. All right, take a picture of your computer print out that piece of a paper, the picture that you just printed it out. As you remove the screws, you might want to put it on top of the paper as a reference, because like I said, the screws and stuff are not the same. You do not want to mix match those screws. Moving on to the next. Two screws. Remove the bracket and that is holding onto the LCD connector. Next, I'll be using a Torque T5, which is the little blue tip. We want the LCD board to be free away from the Wi-Fi. So this board here, belongs to the LCD screen. We want it to be free so that we can remove the Wi-Fi antenna. Still using a Torque T5. I have to remove four screws, two on each side of the Wi-Fi antenna. I just want to do a quick reminder, if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen or the tools, please check out 
um, the link down description below I will direct you to either Amazon or eBay for the replacement screen now here I'll be using uh, a little plastic prying tool to kind of pry open the Wi-Fi antenna uh, this Wi-Fi antenna here has a little kind of a adhesive tape that is holding it down so let me work on the side and be careful with this um, LCD cable you do not want to uh, damage that part of it all right you're gonna feel a little bit of uh, tension here which is normal because like I said the thing has some kind of uh, a clipper or something like that that is holding down the Wi-Fi all right so now I have the thing separated and you just have to um, exit through that LCD board just by lifting straight up uh, that tape right there is somewhat taping down to the center of your um, laptop Moving on to the next part, we have to use a Torque T8, which is the yellow screw driver to remove three screws. They are holding down the hinge. So let's go ahead and remove that three screws. Okay, where did it go? I lost one of that. Uh, oh, right here. For some reason, it is very tight. Okay, let's open up the screen at this point here you can just lift it straight up and slide that hinge away from the laptop slash it slide it out on one side and slide it out on the other side your entire screen will just come right off here's the replacement screen If this thing is kind of close like this during the shipment, you can't open it up very easy. Get a Torque T8, stick it gently just enough for you to peel it back. All right, so if you have a hard time opening up the hinge, do what I just said. Now, if you notice that this screen replacement, it doesn't have the bracket that's holding these two things down, the flex cable, you can always transfer over to the new screen so some vendor that provide that little uh, bracket and the screws they pre-install it but looks like this vendor does not so remove that two screws position the bracket and have this uh, thing back on It's just extra steps, but not much of a big of a deal. And again, because uh, I guess maybe because of costs. So if they can save it, makes sense. I mean, you don't have to put it to a waste. More likely we're gonna throw the old screen away, which I'll be throwing the bracket away too, so let's not waste stuff. Transfer it over. Just gonna take a couple more minutes.
Okay, I'm almost done with this. So after that we can continue the uh, the installation. Okay, now the next step is to make sure that when you install the screen and that LCD board has to be sitting on top of the laptop. And then here you want to slide it hinge in to the base, slide it in like such, slide it in again. While the thing is still in, check your flex cable. Make sure the LCD flex cable is not pinched down or it's not clipped. Okay, it has to be above the laptop in a free position. See while I'm holding the screen, I am going to get my Torque T8 and screw it in because we need to have the screen closed in order to finish up the repair. So we put one screw here just to hold it that I can close the screen. Okay, so one screw is in on each side of it. Now I can close the laptop screen. Coming back, finish up the screws here. That doesn't seem like it. Okay, when those are done. The next step is to insert the Wi-Fi antenna into the LCD board. Insert through that. Let it rest in the middle, center position like such. Press it down. You might want to press the one in the middle too because the middle is the one that holding things down together. Make sure the LCD has a position that can rest. While you're holding everything up, put the screw in. We need to tighten that thing up. So we are done with that screw. We need the T5. Torque T5 is here to have four screws to get the Wi-Fi antenna back on. So let's do that. Once you're done with that process, we are still using a Torque T5. I have to put the two screw, which is holding down the LCD board. This one on the right and one on the left. Okay, once you're done with that process, go ahead and get the connector, reconnect it back again. They are just like Lego. You just need to position it in the right way and gently push it down. It doesn't need any force. You don't force the Lego to go in. You just need to position the Lego correctly. Same thing for this uh, LCD connector. Do not force it in because you may bend the pin or damage the pin. So just position it carefully take your time and gently push it in once it's in get the bracket and put two of the screw back in same thing for your wi-fi antenna do not do not force it in 
position them nicely and gently close it in. If you take a very close, the Wi-Fi antenna is a two little circle. The one from the cable is sitting on top the of the circle that is at the bottom. So it's circle on top of a circle. So one is bigger and one is smaller. You just have to position them and gently push it in. Once it's done, get the bracket and a torque T3 to close it in. Okay, once it's all done, we just need to insert the battery. Pay attention here. You want the battery bottom part to get in first, this bottom here, because the battery, the way it goes is you're gonna slide it in, then close it down and clip it. So slide it in like such. So get underneath that in first. So get it closed in and then close the one on the top and then have the clipper to clip it back down. That's it. Double check, make sure the connector is tight. When it's done, press the two little clipper in the middle to clip it down. We need a, what do we need right now? We need that 1.2 Starship Pentalo P5. So we do not have to use that 0 0.8 Pentalo P2 screwdriver. Now, since you stay all the way at the end of the video, I would like to tell you that you definitely need to have the charger ready. So grab the charger and power up the laptop. The reason is because we disconnect, we disconnected the battery for such a long period of time. The computer at this point do not remember how to turn on itself. So get a charger and power up your laptop. Now, if you find this video is helpful, please, please click on YouTube Super Thanks, which allow you to share your gratitude to support my work, my video, my channel, and uh, to show your appreciation. Uh, you can click on YouTube Super Thanks or uh, click on um, PayPal. Now, what I told you is you need a power adapter to power back on. I do not have it here next to me, which I cannot power the thing on at this point. I need to go get my charger. But trust me, the screen is fixed. Everything should look good. And uh, just wanted to tell you that and check the link down description below again once more. If you find this video is helpful, smash the like button. Uh, thanks for watching, until next time, I wish you all the best. And do not forget to visit my website. If you have any questions, um, also comment down. Also, write your comment, write your question down in the comments. Thank you, bye now.